Hey guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So tonight was a subscriber's request. So shout out to Devion Acker. If I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry. So we are making chicken and gravy tonight with some mashed potatoes. So let's get going. So it's a very minimal ingredient. I always like to use dark meat when I do any like chicken and gravy. So I have some chicken thighs. I have two whole heads of garlic that are peeled. Flour, thyme, stock, salt, pepper. The potatoes are here. You always cut the potatoes and put them in cold water and then you turn the heat on. So I'm gonna turn that on. I have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. I have some oil in the pan. So we are just going to salt and pepper each side. And then I'm gonna keep a, a clean hand. And we're going to salt and pepper this side. And always sprinkle from up high. That way you have even distribution. So as the oil heats, then we'll put the chicken in to brown. Okay, so now we're going to brown these on each side. I'm going to let this continue. Now it's browned on one side, we're just going to flip them. We don't want to fully cook them because we are going to put this into the oven. So we're going to let them brown on that side, then we're going to remove them and put them into the plate. Okay, so now we're going to remove these. Remember, you're not cooking these all the way through. You're just giving them a little color and a little extra flavor. So now we have the excess olive oil that's in there. We're gonna turn down the heat in between medium, low, and medium. We're gonna throw all cloves of garlic in there. That is two heads of garlic. So now we're just going to let them brown up for about three minutes. I'm just going to keep this garlic moving around inside the olive oil. You can also use bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. I didn't have any available. That will also give nice flavor to the garlic. If you have too much fat in the pan, though, if you do that when you're rendering the fat to brown the skin, when you brown that the first time, you may want to dump a little bit of that out because we are going to be making a gravy from the pan dripping itself. We're gonna keep this moving around for the next couple minutes. So the garlic is starting to get a nice light brown color on it. And it's infusing this olive oil too with the essence of the garlic. So I'm gonna let these brown for a couple more minutes and I'm gonna add the flour to the pan. All right, so I'm going to add flour in. And the reason that I'm doing this is so it can cook the raw flour taste out. And it's going to marry well with the fat of the oil. And now we're going to add the chicken back in. And I'm putting the, the chick the sorry, the chicken right over the garlic pieces just so it's going to use with some flavor. And the garlic is going to be part of the gravy itself. Alright. And these pan juices, or plate juices, whatever you want to call them, you never want to let them out. Always put it in. So now we're going to cover it. And that's so all the steam will stay inside of that pan, which will give the juices, which will infuse all that flour. The oven is turned on and preheated to 400. And we're going to put it in the middle rack and let it cook for about 15 minutes. So we are now going to pull the chicken out of the oven. And we're going to make the gravy right in the same pan. I'm going to keep the handle on to here. Steam. You're going to pull the chicken out of the pan and just put it on a plate. Right. 
turn the pan back on to medium heat. I'm going to add in the stock. You can always use white wine if you want to. That was one and three quarters cup of stock. So if you're going to use white wine, anything that you would drink with, you would just take three quarters of a cup of white wine and one cup of stock. So look how nice and golden the garlic got. I'm going to whisk this around until it gets thickened. So while that continues to thicken, I'm going to actually strain the potatoes. So let's get moving. With my mashed potatoes, I add a little bit of milk. I do cream cheese and butter and salt and pepper. So I'm going to get these mashed while the gravy still thickens. As that finishes the thicken, I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of thyme. You can put more if you prefer it. The thyme in. And I'm also going to put in two tablespoons of butter, which will gloss the sauce. So there's a nice gloss coming to the sauce. Or the gravy, I should say. Okay, nice and thickened, so I'm going to add the chicken back in. Back in. Don't mind the dog. Trying to pull that all in so it gets nice and moist. And now we're going to serve. Now that it is all plated up, I have some of the garlic that's roasted on there, the mashed potatoes, and the gravy. Let me know how you guys like it.